Hey guys, it's Logic Girl. This is a Master Cleanse video. I'm not gonna even beat around the bush with it. Um, I decided to do this like two days ago, literally. Was like, you know what, I'm gonna do the Master Cleanse. And so, um, today was my first day, and so I thought I would just kind of just record the whole, um, experience as I usually do. But this time around, I decided to do a li little bit different and do a uh, small clip af after each day or at the end of each day so that way um, I don't have to post a video every single day. And so this video is going to consist of a from start to finish, um, from day one to day ten of the Master Cleanse and my experience with it. Now, um, off the back, I have been doing the Master Cleanse for ten years. Well, Almost 10 years. I've done it since um, since little since Papa was born. I did my first cleanse like right after I had him, and I think the first time I did it, I only got through like five or six days of it, but I really felt like it really really worked, and so that kind of set the floor for me. And then I decided to do it every. Um, I decided to do it twice a year, so I would do it in December and do it in June. It's been a while since I've done. I think I did one the beginning of this. Either it was the end of last year or the beginning of this year. I did do one, and so. Um, it's been a while since I've done one, and so I figured, why not? Um, so for those of you who uh, don't know what the Master Cleanses or Lemonade Diet is, basically a detox diet used to um, rid your body of impurities and toxins and, and build up um, that builds up in your body. Um, and basically what it is, is you are to drink a lemonade mixture for a matter of 10 days. During this cleanse, you can't eat anything. All you can drink is a lemonade mixture. You can drink herbal teas as long as they're decaf, and um, you have a saltwater flush, and you have a tea. So those are the only four things that you can you can consume. You can't add any sugar to your teas or nothing like that. And so the lemonade mixture is uh, 60 ounces of filtered water. It's 12 tablespoons of uh, maple grape bee maple syrup and 12 tablespoons of um, of lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So you drink that for 10 days and basically, yeah. And then as far as the laxative measures, you're doing um, a laxative tea um, each and every night and you're doing um, a saltwater flush each and every morning. If you are doing the saltwater flush, make sure you have nowhere to go for at least an hour and a half or so, at least an hour to hour and a half um, because you just never know when you're gonna have to go all that rhymed. You never know when you gotta go. And so, and then the, um, but if you don't want to do the salt water flush, you can s choose to do the tea. This is the one that I use. It's called Smooth Move by Traditional Medicinal. And, um, I know I have some tea around. I just bought this one, but I know I have some around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. But this was on sale at, I got it from Rite Aid this week for $4.99, which is pretty cheap because usually that will run you about $7 a box. So um, I went and picked that up there. Um, the tea that you do, the, you do the tea at night, and I kind of feel like it just kind of gets your, it kind of moves its way through your system, getting things ready. And then when you do the saltwater flush in the morning, it kind of helps kind of get things like, I think that kind of gets the stuff that's really stuck up in there. And then the saltwater flush, in the morning kind of just flushes all that loose stuff out so um, that's kind of my idea of how it is but but yeah but today is my first day it's uh, about eight o'clock I'm waiting for uh, I'm waiting for uh, Empire to come on <laughs> and so I thought I'd do this video really really quick um, I am down to my last glass so lemonade this is, how, this is what it looks like and as you can see the cayenne pepper is way at the bottom um, I, I'm not gonna say too much because I don't want this whole video to be too long but um, I will add a few links in the low bar for you guys for videos that I've done in the past that might help you guys if you guys have any questions definitely ask um, I always want to say consult your physician um, as always when you're starting any kind of anything new as far as your diet is concerned my starting weight is um, 178 which is uh, weird that I'm actually up this week. I'm actually up um, since last week, but it's okay. It's okay. And so, yeah, so yeah, so that's my starting weight. Um, again, I'll be doing daily weights. I'll weigh myself daily right before the saltwater flush in the morning. And I will do before and after pictures. I have some taken already that I took last week, so I'll just go ahead and use those um, as well. And so, yeah, so I'll leave it there, and I'll see you guys all in the next. Uh, 
I'll see you guys after day two. Hey guys, um, so this is day, this is the end of day two of the Master Cleanse. Um, as far as weight loss, I'm down 1.2 pounds. As far as my activity, I did do 25 minutes on the treadmill. Um, mostly walking though, but I did do some, um, some um, one minute uh, sprint intervals, which is actually kind of cool because it's my first time running, honestly, since I've had the baby. And so it felt really good. Um, can't really wait to run the streets, but it's been so cold outside that I, I have not been outside. Um, actually, we were home all day, yesterday and today. And so um, I finished all my lemonade today. I actually put it in this container um, today uh, and basically just finished it um, like an hour ago, waiting for my tea to cool. The saltwater flush this morning was very, very moving. <laughs> um, I actually got up this morning at 4 o'clock uh, and had a bowel movement from the tea, which um, when I first started cleansing, I, I never got bowel movements from it. But again, the longer you steep it, the more f effective it's going to be. And so, yeah, so I'll leave it there, and I will see you guys. After hey, guys, it's day uh, d the end of day three, which is awesome. Um... So as far as today, I had a pretty awesome day. No detox symptoms whatsoever. No headaches, no hunger pains. Um, as far as my activity, I did uh, walk uh, 30 minutes outside earlier. And as far as my weight loss, I am down to 175.4, which puts me 3.2 pounds down so far. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty uneventful day. I, I didn't have any kind of... Um, I actually know when I was out today walking, I was over by uh, Farmer Boys. Is that what it's called? Farmer Boys. And oh my gosh, the food smelled so good. I was just like, oh, let me just go the other direction. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was a pretty good day. I'm waiting for my tea to cool. Usually I'm waiting for it to cool right now. Um, and yeah, it's going pretty good so far, you guys. So I'll see you guys hey guys, day four. it's like 11.30 and I'm like so freaking tired. Um, today is, uh, day five, the end of day five of the Master Cleanse. I totally, like, skipped out on day four, but as far as day four, I think all I did was, I did go for a walk on the treadmill, um, for an hour, um, and as far as the weight loss, yesterday it was down to... Um, 175.2, which had put me down 3.4 pounds. Um, day four was pretty good. No temptation, no nothing. Pretty awesome. And then um, today, day five, um, I am down to 172.4, which puts me 6.2 pounds down. Um, I did go for an hour walk outside and it felt absolutely amazing and what else for today today my temptation was the fact that my sister came over and she had brought spaghetti leftover spaghetti from last night and oh my gosh everybody's sitting around eating spaghetti I'm just like really are you freaking kidding me are you freaking kidding me and so uh, I put a little bit in this cup <laughs> And I've just been smelling it all night. See, look at that. It's just, it's just a bite. It's just a bite. And I am not going to eat it. My sister was like, it's so funny because I was like, oh, you guys are driving me crazy. And so I put it in a cup. And then I heated it up. I was like, I might as well heat it up. She's like, you you one step away from just eating it. And I was just like, I don't want to eat. I just want to just go through the motions of smelling it. And <sighs> it smells so good. But anyways, you guys, um, down 6.2 pounds so far in five days. I'm not sure if I want to do 10 days or 14 days. I'm really kind of thinking of doing two full weeks, but we shall see, and I will see you guys after day six. Okay, guys, so listen, I haven't did an update since day five, and today is day nine, so... As far as day six, seven, eight, and then today is day nine. Um, I've been feeling really good. Um, I think only one of those days I did not work out or walk or anything, and that was on day six. Um, but day seven, day eight, and day nine, I went for walks. Some of two of those days I did go for jogs, which was awesome because I'm starting to run again, and um, 
that's just really exciting for me. Um, and so, and so, yeah. So as far as my weight loss, down 10.4 pounds in nine days. And I, um, I feel like I have it in me to do the full 14 days. But it's like crazy because the more I think about it, I th I'm debating going longer than that to even 20 days. And I guess basically what, what kind of dictates how long I cleanse for, I at least do my 10 days. But what dictates how long, how much longer I go is it depends on my starting weight. So if my starting weight is low, then I know I'm only going to do 10 days. But if my starting weight is a little higher um, and I can afford to lose more weight, with the cleanse then I will go longer. The temptation is real. It's not even funny. We went to the farmers market today and just the smells of the aromas and everything smelled so good and um, I mean just the aromas just everything smelled so good and I was craving hummus so freaking bad like I absolutely love hummus and I haven't had it in a while because when I was pregnant, I just didn't have the, really have the taste for it for some reason. I didn't have the taste for that our cottage cheese. And so, I'm looking forward to coming off my cleanse so I can have some hummus. My niece and my dad had Mexican food today. And I had to drive home with the smell of freaking, oh, Mexican. I love Mexican food. And so, and then my dad just heated up his leftovers right now for dinner. And I'm just like, oh, it smells so good. I had to come by my room and hibernate in my room. So, <gasps> this is day 13 of the master cleanse and I haven't actually did a clip since I was day 9. And so as far as day 10, 11, 12, and 13, today has gone pretty, I mean, it's gone pretty uneventful. I feel absolutely amazing as I always do when I cleanse. Um, my weight is at a standstill though. I would say the last three days I've stuck at 167.4. Um, my weight loss so far is at 11.2 pounds. As far as my activity, out of those four days, I literally only worked out today. And I went for a walk on the treadmill and I did like 40 minutes, which is like almost nine, I want to say nine, nine laps, um, while the little guy was sleeping. And so that's all I've done the last four days. Um, and then yesterday was my, like Sunday, my couponing day. And I just got so behind on everything. Like I should have had my saltwater flush before I even left the house. Um, and I didn't and so rather than just not do it um, and just automatically just start drinking my lemonade I did it like at like three o'clock almost four and so by the time I felt like the whole master cleanse elimination process was done I felt like it was super late and it was like why start the lemonade now if I knew I wasn't gonna finish it and so I basically pushed that um, lemonade for t today um, and so, yeah, and I don't normally do that. Normally, I prepare what I'm going to drink that morning, and I drink it throughout the day. I've never, ever, you know, pre-made it the day before, the night before. Um, and so, that's basically it for these last several days. Um, I haven't had any kind of, well, I guess the only detox symptom is just that cotton mouth that you tend to get when you're cleansing. Um, my tongue is just, well, oh, it's not as white. I've been brushing my tongue like crazy. So other than that, I haven't had any headaches, no other type of detox symptoms whatsoever. For me, it's just the temptation of not living alone. And when you live alone, you control whatever comes through your door. And when you have more people living with you, like my niece is here, my dad's here. And Tay is just like, she's been trying to do like a detox for like the last like two or three weeks. And it's like, she went out the other day to get detox stuff and she came back with Chipotle. I was like, really Tay? Like who does that? Like Tay does that. And so, and so it's like when you have more people living in your house, it's hard to cleanse and stay, and stay um, strong and stay, um, you know, uh, consistent because you have the temptation in your house. And so like my dad had bought a pumpkin pie. He's got pie down there. He's eating steak and... He's got cookies and Tay's just bringing in all this stuff and I'm just like, oh, the temptation is real. And so, but I have been strong and I have not cheated. I can honestly say I have not cheated because in previous cleanses, whenever I felt like I needed to eat something, I would eat cashews. I would always pop a few nuts, pop a few nuts, <laughs> that didn't come out right. And so, but I would eat a few nuts here and there, you know, to kind of like sustain or give me that feeling I'm eating something. And so, um... And so, yeah, that's that. Um, I am going to be preparing the soup this time. I did prepare it last time. I have a video up. I'll add the link in the little bar for those who want to see it. I made entirely too much that time. So my goal this time around is to um, to cut my ingredients in half. 
Um, I will go out tomorrow and purchase all of my oranges for Orange Juice Day and all of the ingredients for the soup and probably prepare the soup on, um, today is Monday. I'll prepare the soup probably Tuesday, uh, probably Wednesday night, which will be Orange Juice Day. And so I will leave it there and I'll see you guys Okay, guys, so this clip. is the final clip of my cleanse. I did a total of 14 days on the cleanse and I feel amazing as always. I always feel absolutely amazing when I cleanse. Um, and so as of, let's see, this morning I weighed myself um, and I was 166. 163.6 and when I started my cleanse I was 178.6 so I'm exactly 15 pounds down which is awesome and that's pretty normal for me like I usually can lose around 15 pounds when I cleanse when I do this particular cleanse um, I am doing three ease off days so the first day you want to drink water down orange juice that's get a bunch of oranges juice them and my ratio between orange juice and water is usually um, 16 ounces of juice and six to eight ounces of water so it just depends on you and how it tastes so you can kind of just add a little bit of water taste it and you really don't want to drink once you're straight because it might upset your stomach but this is basically what mine looks like and so um the second day off it's still drinking orange juice and you get to drink um broth from a soup so you want to make a soup i will add a link um to um well i'm going to post that video after i post this one but i'll also add the link in the, in the low bar for you guys as well as the recipe for it but you want to make your um, your soup and then on the second day you can only drink the broth from the soup and it's not till the third day where you can actually eat the soup and so for me it actually ended up being a little bit more than I thought and actually last time I made it it was a lot but this time it wasn't as much but it's still a lot and so what I'm thinking I'll do is spread the soup along um, throughout the week and just kind of add things to it like I'm thinking of adding like beef to it or something like so it can be more of a beef beef vegetable soup or something like that so um so yeah so other than that you guys I feel like amazing I feel I feel absolutely amazing I took my after pictures uh, this morning and I definitely see little changes like mostly in my belly um and so I'm, I'm excited though so I'm definitely gonna post um pictures on Instagram and Facebook so if you're not on Instagram or Facebook I add links to those two um in the low bar for you guys other than that that is basically it thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys uh like this way of, of redoing the video this time so guys I, I feel like it's easier if all the days and everything is in one video so that way you're not trying to like keep up and watch somebody's video every single day and in the past i've normally um did daily vlogs and i'll post a video every day so i figured if i post daily videos it might be like five to ten minutes per video and then it'd be i'm doing it for 14 days plus the easing off days and so I figured it's easier if I just post one video it might be a little long but it's gonna compose everything in it that I need to um, for uh, this cleanse and um, so yeah so I, ho I hope this helps a lot of you guys um, that are doing the cleanse just stay try to stay focused and um, if at any time you don't feel right something doesn't feel right stop the cleanse it doesn't hurt to stop the cleanse and maybe try again um, or not try again and so I'll leave it there. As always, you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.